हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मी रबाब जहरा फ्रॉम टेक्स मीडिया वी आर एट जाइसिंग ग्लोबल 2025 द लार्जेस्ट साइबर सिक्योरिटी इवेंट ऑफ द रीजन एंड राइट नाउ आई हैव विद मी मिस्टर सुल्तान महमूद मलिक ही इज चीफ सिक्योरिटी ऑफिसर एट हुआवे सो लेट्स वेलकम मिस्टर महमूद ऑन टेक्स मीडिया एंड गेट टू नो व्हाट हुआवे इज शोकेसिंग दिस टाइम एट जाइसिंग एंड सम साइबर सिक्योरिटी टॉक्स लेट्स वेलकम मिस्टर महमूद ऑन टेक्स मीडिया hi how are you thank you for having me i'm doing very good so mr mahmood we are at jaisi global 2025 it's all about cyber security here tell us that in 2025 what are the threats that organizations are facing now uh that's a wide very you know overarching uh, question wide reaching question when we see organizations from different perspective enterprises these days are facing growing attacks from the ransomware perspective when it comes to the public safety organizations or the government sector organizations they are more concerned about the disruption caused by the ddos as well as the impersonation spamming spoofing these kind of attacks because they need to keep their organizations and the civilians uh, secure and safe so these are different wide you know wide range of attacks which is happening targeting different organizations but more prevalently we can see ransomware and uh, denial of service or dos attacks as well as you know impersonation spamming spoofing uh, financial fraud these kind of things are you know have been there but after the advent of ai uh, you know ai has been uh, quite prolific in this area so people are using it for both good and for the bad purpose so after ai these kind of attacks have become more you know widespread i should say so continuing uh, the discussion Uh, that day i was speaking uh, to one of the officials here in ua and um, they said that it's humans who are actually causing uh, cyber attacks it's not humans the employees so how true is that actually we say humans are the weakest link in the cyber security definitely i can understand why uh, government officials or any uh, senior executive would face would feel that humans are the weakest link or they are causing the most attack because sometimes people don't understand the importance of cyber security their one small mistake can lead to a widespread uh, business impact take an example a uh, few years back you might have heard there was a ransomware attack on a very uh, famous global logistic company it started somewhere in the eastern europe and it in the matter of hours it spread across the world yeah. and it caused loss of more than 300 million dollars so sometimes people don't take things very seriously and then they just plug in one usb which may not be secure and the worm or the ransomware will spread because now globally all the systems are connected right yeah. so if one global organization may have offices in one country or across multiple territories so one mistake by one simple person yeah. in one laptop one yeah. desktop anywhere yeah. can spread to the whole organization so i totally understand why people feel but at the same time these aspects can be covered by continuous awareness continuous monitoring and as well as building such technologies which can you know help the organizations defend against the most common and occasionally silly mistakes yeah correct one fine morning you are sitting open you open your laptop one click and boom everything yeah, yeah. yeah. and and you maybe doing it very well in your own Correct. but maybe your colleague or your subordinate or your yeah. somebody else sitting in a far remote office yeah does something silly yeah Continu- something uh, careless like yeah. continuous awareness and training for the client so, so how uh, huawei is supporting government government organizations in combating those cyber attacks that's a very good question i have to take you a few years back actually over the past 30 years what huawei has been doing we have gone through a lot of internal transformations when it comes to the cyber security our initial focus was to give the most reliable and trustworthy products to our customers because huawei being the you know leader in the telecom or in the ICT we enable the industries we enable our customers but over the past few years what we have seen that even though huawei products are very very secure and reliable and trusted by more than 1500 carriers more than 10000 large enterprises and we serve almost 3 billion people on the planet earth still it may not be enough 
but Huawei has learned and gathered all that valuable capabilities in cybersecurity, maybe now it's time to enable the upstream and downstream so that the whole value chain can be secured. So from that perspective, Huawei likes to actively support, collaborate and participate in the initiatives taken by the government. Take an example, when it comes to the legislative framework, when it comes to setting such kind of guidelines and policies on the national level to enhance the national resilience, Huawei actively supports, we have global insight. So we not only actually adhere those guidelines and the, from the compliance perspective, we actively contribute. At the same time, we just discussed, people can make silly mistakes. So awareness, as well as the capacity building when it comes to the cybersecurity professionals right now, almost all the governments in the world and more specifically in our region are facing severe shortage of talent, cyber security professionals, experts. So what Huawei can do, we can not only share our capabilities in the technology, in the governance, but also can support our national organizations, partners, industry organizations in lifting the cybersecurity professionals gap. That's what we are trying to do. That's some great information you have shared with us. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to TechX to know more about what is happening at JISEC Global 2025. Goodbye.